Between a profitable career and scandalous run-ins with the law, NBA Youngboy can't help but make headlines these days. The promising young rapper was the third most streamed artist of last year and shows no signs of slowing down in 2021 unless his legal issues persist. Born Contrell Deshaun Galden on October 20th, 1999 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Youngboy was mainly raised by his maternal grandmother. His father is currently serving 55 years behind bars for a robbery gone wrong. I come from a rare place, he told the fader. It's a different culture, different atmosphere, and the police are crooked. Different emojis, and when I say emojis, I mean personality. Youngboy has had several run-ins with the law and can be proclaimed one of the most dangerous rappers in the scene right now. So today, we're gonna dive deeper into why rappers try to avoid NBA Youngboy at all costs, his upbringing. Let's throw things back and take a look at Youngboy's early life growing up. Youngboy began writing lyrics at the age of seven, hoping to follow in his mom's footsteps, Sharonda Galden. She was briefly a rapper and currently performed stand-up comedy. He rarely paid attention in class and would constantly pick fights with fellow students. At the age of four, Youngboy broke his neck while wrestling. NBA Youngboy explained, I was wrestling and I broke my neck. I had to get a halo in my head with the screws. Four years old. This explains the scars you see on Youngboy's forehead. He dropped out of school by ninth grade, saying, I wanted to be a rapper and I couldn't focus and do that. I really felt like I wasn't smart enough. So what the f I'm there for? Instead of attending class, he picked up a microphone from Walmart and never looked back. However, shortly after departing from school, he was arrested for robbery. This would kick off his music career. During his six month sentence in a juvenile detention center, Control wrote a song that ended up being on his first mixtape, Life Before Fame, released in 2015. After being released from the cell, one of his friend's mom would pay for Youngboy's studio time, and this is where his career began. From the bottom to the top, Youngboy's career managed to take an uplifting turn from here. In October 2016, he released one of his most promising mixtapes, 38 Baby, which featured Kevin Gates and Lil Snoop. However, this would all go downhill for Kentrell as only two months later, in December 2016, he was taken to the cell once again in Austin, Texas on suspicion of the attempted first degree after he was connected to an alleged drive-by shooting. He went to prison and was eventually released in May 2017 after undergoing a plea deal and posting bail. Just a week after his prison release, he launched his first major single, Untouchable, allowing him to get plenty of recognition from fans all over the world. This tune peaked at number 95 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. However, after this song was released, all Control did was continue to blow up like three months after launching Untouchable. He dropped his mixtape, AI Youngboy, which charted at number 24 on the top 200 album charts. One of his most famous songs, No Smoke, featured in that mixtape, and it managed to peak at number 61 on the Hot 100 charts, making it one of his most streamed songs at that time. In late 2017, Control was signed to the label Atlantic Records, one of the most important independent labels in the USA, before releasing the single Outside Today in January 2018. This hit made out to be one of his highest charting songs at the time of release, peaking at number 31 on the charts. Surely enough, the next month, Youngboy was arrested. However, he promised a new mixtape upon release. This promise was honored, with the rapper releasing his first official studio album, Until Death Call My Name, with features from Birdman and Future, along with Lil Uzi Vert and Offset on the Reloaded version. After this, he also released another mixtape, Master the Day of Judgment, on May 19, 2018, which followed up with a series of four EPs, each containing four tracks. The first of the Quad Saga, Four Respect, was released on August 24th, followed up with Four Freedom, Four Loyalty, and Four What's Important, with release dates August 30th, September 6th, and September 14th. These four EPs were combined to make a mixtape. He also released another two mixtapes, Decided and Realer, before the end of 2018, with features ranging from Lil Baby to Trippy Red. Youngboy started to become less active in 2019, only releasing two projects, including a debut number one album, AI Youngboy 2, selling 110,000 units in the first week of release, and has now been awarded certified platinum. He also released a single in October of 2019 with rapper Juice World named Bandit, which managed to peak at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Cantrell's highest charting single at the time and Juice World's second highest charting. However, in 2020, Galden became much more on the scene with five albums released and three of them reaching number one. The rapper's music gains around 8 million views on YouTube every day due to this being his main streaming platform. He also performed at a show in Orlando on December 5th with him being very close to the crowd as he sang several of his hits. He's receiving backlash for the decision to perform in front of such a large crowd during a worldwide pandemic with hundreds crammed inside such a small area. Very few people were wearing a mask or implementing social distancing rules despite the recent rise in cases in the USA, crime and gang behavior. So now we're getting into more of the reason why rappers avoid young boy in the rap scene. It's no question that throughout his upbringing and career, Galden had gotten caught up in lots of illegal and gang related activities. It was revealed that he could possibly be part of the Notorious Bloods through the gang he allegedly leads in Baton Rouge named 4K Trey. 
In the past, he's been involved in multiple arrests, the most recent one being for running from police following a traffic stop. Baldwin was wanted on an outstanding warrant stemming from the arrest of 16 people on substance and firearm charges in Baton Rouge. It seems that Youngboy spends more time behind bars than he does out in the real world, making him an actual threat to the rap game as a whole. The rapper's third and most horrifying arrest involved a shooting in Miami while out on probation, taking the life of an innocent man, which obviously violated his trial. As a result, he was incarcerated for three months in order to undergo trial for another 14 months. The first time Youngboy was taken behind bars during his career was in November of 2016, where he was charged with two counts of attempting to take another's life. It came after he was accused of jumping out of a vehicle and taking fire on a group of people on the street in his hometown, Louisiana. He explained, I don't think they really target, but if you got a name, they know who you is. You do something, they're gonna come get you, and whoever you're with and whatever they do, you're accountable for it just because you got the biggest name. That's how that shit go. Two years later in 2018, Youngboy had his most run-ins with the law. While most teens might shiver at the possibility of facing a 40-year prison sentence, Youngboy showed no displeasure in doubling down in both his musical and criminal careers. His rap success sprouted as he released more hit songs and successful projects and even signed to media giant Atlantic Records. Despite the groundbreaking success of tracks like Untouchable, authorities appear to have remained unimpressed as he was taken to the cell on a fugitive warrant for having sought to evade arrest on charges of weapons possession, kidnapping, and assault. The following two charges pertain in part to an incident recorded in a hotel hallway which depicts Youngboy physically hurting his girlfriend, Jania Jackson, then dragging her into a hotel room. Nonetheless, NBA Youngboy only remained in jail for one month until he paid a $75,000 bond. Despite the event having transpired more than two years ago, the couple only split somewhat recently, with NBA having finally gotten a plea deal in December for simple battery family violence and an agreement to pay a $1,500 fine and complete an anger management court. Jackson took to social media when the video was first published, saying the two were only playing. Still, the public discourse on the matter remains divided. Yeah, I'm sure Youngboy didn't pay you millions to say you guys were just playing after seeing the video of what he did to you. NBA Youngboy linked to King Von's passing left fans and loved ones with a lot of unanswered questions. The 26-year-old rapper was taken down outside of an Atlanta nightclub on November 6. Many believe his death connects with fellow rapper NBA Youngboy due to an alleged beef between the two. The beef began as King Von accused Youngboy of lying in his lyrics. A 2018 Instagram Live video shows Von listening to Youngboy's single Play With Us and Von shared his thoughts on Youngboy's music with his followers. The f*** Youngboy talking about on this song, bruh? Von is overheard saying, he's talking crazy, he ain't even like that, I'm on his ass now, you got caps in your raps. He continues, insinuating Youngboy's street lyrics are not genuine to his experience. But that's not it. Apparently, the beef involved Youngboy's ex-girlfriend. Before Von's passing, rumors spread that Von began dating Youngboy's ex-girlfriend, Jania. Von shared photos of him with Jania. Amid speculation of their relationship, Von disputed the dating rumors and insisted that he and Jania were creating music together. Allegedly, the rapper's beef also stems from their record labels being rivals. Both rappers are signed to different record labels. Let's get into the nitty gritty stuff now. First, why and how was Youngboy linked to the passing of King Von? On the evening of November 6, Von was one of two fatally wounded in a shooting, allegedly not too long after footage of his argument with Quando Rondo. Later, Timothy Leakes was taken in cuffs in connection with Von's passing. Numerous sources report that Leakes is a member of Youngboy's crew as he's reported a close friend of Rondo. So this leads us to conclude that Youngboy may have had a part in the rapper's tragic life taking. Before you go, click the video on the screen. See you over there.